제우스 어, 반도체 장비회사에서 펄스포지와 협력하여 포토닉 디몬딩 자동화를 출시하겠다 어, 어, 예정이다 라고 얘기를 했습니다. Korean market? Mm. They're probably, they're, we are working very closely with them uh, to bring our technology to some of our customers here and, and, and outside Korea as well. 그 회사는 지금 어, HBM용 디몬딩 디몬딩 장비를 이미 출시해서 공급을 하고 있는데 기존 대비 이 장비를 활용했을 때는 뭐가 좀 매끄럽게 되어집니까? 아니면 좀뭐 비용 좀 절감하면서 될수 있습니까? 어떤 특장점이 있습니까? There, it involves a lot of capex or equipment to accomplish that. Mechanical debonding is, is one of the common debond that has been used uh, in, I would say, for HBM uh, manufacturing. But as the scale of this HBM adult production is growing higher, they, some of the tools can deliver 5 wafers per hour or 10 wafers per hour throughput. From the throughput point of view, photonic debonding can easily produce, easily, easily hit 40 wafers per hour or more, right? So you're competing, competing one machine of photonic debonding versus almost eight machines of uh, mechanical debonding. That's one way of addressing the throughput that is really needed to fill the growth of HBM. The wafer thickness is always going down, and uh, mechanical debonding has its own limitation. Thinner wafer, as you try to mechanically wrench the wafer pair out, essentially would end up cracking the wafer. Photonic debonding, coupled that with a light absorbing layer, enables a stress-free separation of the carrier, and we have demonstrated that we can debond uh, wafers down to 20 micron thickness, uh, even below, without any uh, significant, without any damage to the device wafers.